we are working from DC. Um, we're picking up lunch and then we're gonna head there and basically drop off some stuff, head there, and then tonight we have dinner plans at this, I think it's a restaurant that's attached to the hotel, so very exciting. Steam. We got pho with fatty brisket and regular brisket. He is returning something to Patagonia and then we are gonna head straight to the hotel and we are staying at the Hay Adams it's like a very vintage looking hotel from the pictures so everything just looks very old-timey I don't really know how to explain it but maybe Victorian so I have a good amount of things on my to-do list when we get back but basically one of them is looking into more of the selenium stuff that I'm working on but now I'm also looking at the automated machines. I think they're called RDAs or RPAs but they're kind of like bots that you create basically go through a website for you so yeah that's kind of where i am because we're heading towards the end of the year most companies also have something called like a chain trees or a code freeze and that's usually when development teams don't push anything out because it's getting close to the holidays and you know you don't want something going into production or going live and then the next week if something does go wrong um the whole development team is out of office for the holidays or something you know so so yeah that's basically what companies try to avoid when they have those change freezes or development freezes so because of that my team is basically trying to get as much as what we need to do done before that time so yeah that's something big that we're kind of keeping in the back of our minds so yeah um, I do have some time planned it taken off towards the end of the year so I'm actually going on a family trip to Myrtle Beach which is I think in North Carolina and I believe Myrtle Beach around that time is going to be in like 50 60 degrees also picked up some boba earlier this is from Yi Fang. I got a cocoa uh, brown sugar milk tea. It's okay. It kind of just tastes like chocolate milk with bubble tea or boba. And I don't know. It, it's all right. It's like a very thick chocolate milk. But I did want to try something new. So it was worth trying. But I probably would not get this again. You can tell because they have towels. we made it all right let me give you a little room tour so first came in through this door very vintage looking i'm not sure what this is no, that's, that's the other room okay okay this is what i mean by like very victorian looking I'm like i feel like i'm living in in like the 18th 19th century but with electricity or maybe they had electricity back then i I'm not good with history, so yeah, this is the bathroom. Very fancy looking. I feel like the glare is making my camera a little blurry, but nonetheless, so this is the main room. Um, there's like these mirrors, and then I think that's also a neighboring room. TV, which we probably will not use. I haven't watched TV in years. Um, and then there's this little fireplace, and then outside, there is this really pretty view. This is a church. This is the street that they renamed. It's super cool. Um, you can kind of see it a little bit. But yeah, and then there's that church over there that's pretty fancy. And then next door over there is the park. And I think there's a good amount of um, walks that happen around here. And yeah, he's already working. And this is, this is about it. Oh yeah, there's like a fridge, but we probably won't be using any of this stuff. And then tonight we have dinner reservations and they're gonna be at 5.30. So yeah, when we got here, we were still a bit early for our check-in. So we were sitting um, in their business center, you know, basically getting some work done there. Um, the Wi-Fi is pretty fast, honestly. I don't know if you guys know, but I have a script that needs to be run and that script uses a lot of data so yeah overall pretty good and the main reason why we are working from here today is because we recently started utilizing a lot of our credit cards a lot better and one of them is our amex card and it basically gives you like a 200 dollars hotel credit every year and we're not really going anywhere hotel ish for the rest of the year so so yeah we basically want to use it before it expires otherwise it doesn't carry over so 
yeah, that's basically why we are staying here. And it's really nice. Um, it's like $200 credit for the hotel room and then an extra 100 for, I think, just food that you order, which we can also use at that restaurant that we're going to tonight. So, so it's kind of like being able to work from here as well as somewhat of a relaxing-ish time, but kind of like in a different environment. So it's kind of nice. So my current setup is in front of the TV, <laughs> my phone, laptop, and then they left these for us. And they wrote us a little card, which is really sweet. Good at vlogging. The weather today is like 70s and it is so nice outside. Street view. Isabella, can you, you scratch his face? Scratch his face. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like under. Under it. Chin. Use your finger, do this. <laughs> yeah. I guys just kind of finished, kind of. Um, I had a lot of stuff on my plate this week, but also the lighting in this room is very orange, as you can see. So I think standing by this window is uh, kind of helping. But yeah, basically just spent the last three hours completing or fulfilling a whole bunch of requests that came in into my mailbox. It just so happens that we have so many deadlines next week and my team, we do try to do things within our business hours, I guess, or like our business time frame. So if there's a deadline, then we basically want to submit it a few days before the deadline. And that's why this week is so busy. And there's someone on my team that's currently out on vacation. So because of that, we are short. And me and another person on my team both have heavy projects this week. So it just so happens it's a busy week for mailbox requests, um, the things that like my BAU or business as usual, the things that my team works on, and extra projects on the side, like my Python stuff, my scripting, my automation. So yeah, it's been kind of crazy. For the Python stuff, I think overall, I was just talking to someone and they actually just said that, that I will be able to get this technology that I need, basically. I don't really know how that's going to go because I know from my team's perspective, we want this ASAP. And if not, then we kind of have to jump to other projects. So yeah, I guess I'll see. It really depends on what my team says, my manager says, and hopefully there is still a way forward where I could just work on it on the side, even if we don't commit like a lot of time to this right now. Because I do think it'll still be helpful even if we are focusing on other things. And then the other requests I had are overall kind of completed. Like I was working on five different tickets today. Sorry, my camera's hitting the camera's hitting the window. But yeah, basically um, on my team, tickets just come in. It could be at random, but it could also be from like deadlines that teams have. Like I mentioned from next week, we have a whole bunch of them. All right, so we're gonna head out and see you guys with us. Or yeah, we're gonna take you guys with us. Look at this difference. I am, I'm straight up orange over here in this room. Like, that's crazy. All right, this is my outfit. Uh, I don't really have any too fancy clothes, but you head out to dinner and also might go to Lululemon to pick him up some pants. Not me, him. Lululemon has men's pants <laughs> that are really popular apparently. Almost forgot my mask. Made it out. This is our view. And then that's the monument over there. It's a white Very house. nice. Oh, is that the White House? Yep. I didn't even realize how close that was. Wow, what the heck? Okay. okay, we drove by this park so many times, and I never knew that was the White House. Is this the, is this the park where they put up the Christmas tree? Maybe. No, 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 on the other side. Okay, because there's like an annual Christmas tree lighting, and they have one for like every state with ornaments from different schools um, that students made, which is cool. But yeah, the White House is really close to here. Wow, it's focused though. 
I swear this camera has a bit of an issue focusing when I have my mask on. That reminds me of the city. I guess this is the city, but it's not like New York City. I mean, the building looks pretty nice. Yeah, but it's not like as crazy busy. Wow, look at those birds. Oh my god. That's a lot of cameras. All those government surveillance drones. Can we go over there? Guys, these pants actually look and fit so good. What the heck? It's just dirty. Let's get a new one. Wow. All right, guys, we got the goods. Now it's dinner time. All right, let's... So you were thinking about the sphere? You can just look. Uh, there's like cauliflower asparagus, I think. And then chicken. And he's in a Pokemon Go raid. He's not cut out for it. I mean, it's more. He got real comfy. There's like robes and slippers and was the shower pressure nice? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. You'll be surprised considering this is a video of building. I mean you picked this one rather than like a more modern one. Yeah, I like because it's more unique. Like look at the ceiling guys. It's so fancy and intricate. I think this room looks really fancy. I feel like I'm living in like a different century. You know, I was gonna say like grandma, like grandma's house kinda looking. It kind of looks like a, a higher end grandma's house. All right guys, we got breakfast. This looks so freaking fancy. Pancakes, granola and yogurt, a fruit cup, and I just got scrambled eggs. Like how can scrambled eggs look this fancy? Sarah. This is the ketchup. How do I open it? We're checking out now. Eight hundred dollars. This was yeah. I cannot imagine people actually stay here full price. Ready? Yeah. Final look at the room. This room was really nice, actually. Very Victorian looking. It doesn't get that much sunlight though. I don't know which way we're facing, but east. East. So in this the morning, is east. It's really really bright. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pick up the car, pick up some boba, go get ramen. Yeah. yeah. So the leaves are so pretty. Alright guys, we just left the ramen place. I'd never been there, this is my first time. I thought it was okay. He said it's not the same as the first time he had it, so I guess there was a change. Um, but it kind of tastes, there was a lot of vegetables in it. It kind of tasted like pho, but pork pho. It was interesting. But I think sure. my all-time favorite ramen is still Akira. Akira ramen. Damn. <laughs> it's a chain. So I don't know if it's different in other locations. Do you think you would have liked uh, Ichiban more now? That's a ramen place, right? I don't remember. Let's... I just don't like the taste of like certain noodles. Yeah, let's try Like I feel like they had back. egg noodles. And I prefer flour noodles or rice noodles, even though that's not common for ramen. But now we're gonna pick up some uh, bubble tea from Share Tea, which is actually right next to us, and head back. Got the goods. Sounds I think like they call it a happy likes, family. Right? Yeah, it has like um, all the toppings, basically. All right, guys, we're gonna head back now. This was a pretty lovely trip, I would say. Except, like, if the sleeve was a little bit better. That's not Yeah. Really bad. Well, let me try this boba first. I got an oolong milk tea, and then I just got one of everything. Oh, wait, no. I didn't even get oolong. I just got one of everything. Mm. Not bad, but I wish they gave me more toppings. I actually got 80%. Holy, that's sweet. Yeah, we're going to head back now. We're originally going to have the late checkout because it comes with the card. But I don't think, really, I have that much to do in D.C. Or we don't really have that much to do here. So we really just wanted to try that ramen place and pick up some boba tea, so we did that. And I also really miss my cat, like I mentioned yesterday, so we're going back to see her. I mean, okay, there's three of them, but So let's talk about your experience. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, overall the hotel was pretty decent. I like the service, yeah, but because it's an older hotel, it, it has a lot of creaky floors, so 
nice lighting. Yeah, a lot of the floorboards are really creaky. So last night when like people were walking in their rooms and we were also right next to the elevator so we could hear the elevator sound and people talking about the elevator so clearly. So the walls, yeah, the walls are paper thin. So that was the worst part about it, I guess. But in the mornings, it's pretty quiet. But at night, you can hear every single little step while you're trying to sleep, which is what I didn't really like. Me neither. But I guess that's what happens when you know you choose an, a more vintage looking hotel. It, it's still a pretty nice stay though. We're originally debating between this hotel and the Watergate Hotel, which is more modern. Um, and we decided on this and, one and because the it's more unique. But that we already Oh yeah, yeah Conrad. Conrad. I really like Conrad. If you head to DC, I think Conrad Sakura Club rooms are very, very nice. I think those are, that's probably my favorite hotel stay I've ever had. So yeah, that was kind of our experience. I would rate it like a 6.5 on 10. Okay. How about yeah, you? Okay. I mean, I like the food a lot more than I expected, I would say. But the food at Conrad was also better. Yeah, the food at Conrad was good, but they didn't have what I wanted. Uh, yeah. Really? What do you want? I mean, I guess they did have it's maybe like one steak. Thing. Okay. He is so funny. Koji! Hi! Looks so fancy. Yeah, so cute. 